we're here with Ted Rockwell, who has spent 60 years in nuclear technology, starting with the Manhattan Project, which was to build the atomic bomb, and you were stationed in Oak Ridge, Tennessee at the time. Right. And after that, Admiral Rickover hired you out of Oak Ridge to become the technical director of the Naval Reactor Program. Uh, and that built the nuclear navy for the United States of America. Uh, you were there for 15 years. And then uh, President Dwight Eisenhower uh, decided that you should be part of the Atoms for Peace program. And in that program, you built the world's first atomic power station. This is who I'm speaking to today, Ted Rockwell. So. Um, Ted, uh, I wanted to talk to you because I've gotten interested in the concept of radiation hermesis, which is the application of low-level radiation. Uh, and contrary to how most people think about radiation, in fact, low-level radiation is not destructive. Seems to, over 3,000 medical studies have been conducted that seem to uh, document the idea that um, exposure to low-level radiation makes you live longer and healthier. And in this country now, most people seem to be quite terrified of anything using the word radiation, nuclear, atomic, um, especially after Nagasaki and Hiroshima. So you have different ideas about the meaning of radiation and nuclear and atomic, and I'd like to hear um, all about your experience and what you know about the phenomenon. and and what we can learn. Well, I find I've been talking to ordinary people about this for years, you know, whoever happens to be in the seat next to me at the airplane or whatever. And I find people don't have any difficulty understanding this. Uh, they understand it's like vaccination, it's like, uh, it's like uh, exercise, uh, red wine, all kinds of things that are uh, potential attacks on an organism, and an organism responds uh, by souping up the, the uh, uh, defenses. So uh, your mother was right when she says uh, when you're going out, she doesn't say wipe off all the doorknobs uh, because there are germs on there. There are some people who have that phobia, but the normal healthy reaction is to say it's not the extra germ that's going to get you, it's whether or not you're immune system is in good shape. So what she'll tell you is put on your galoshes and take care of yourself, keep your immune system healthy, because that's what's going to determine whether you're uh, in trouble or not. And I, I would just like to say parenthetically here, <clears throat> since my, I come out of the background of cancer, um, treatment of cancer patients and cancer research, and the pre ex president of Sloan Kettering, that uh, bulwark of traditional medicine, Sloan Kettering, uh, Lewis Thomas, his theory of cancer was uh, that we're wasting a lot of money uh, uh, trying to track down all of the various carcinogens in the environment because the environment is replete with carcinogens. We've created them. Um, but the key is that he, his theory about cancer is that we all have cancer in us all the time, cancer cells, and that if the immune system is in the right shape, then the immune system just naturally takes care of whatever kind of stray cancer cells happen to be lingering around, yeah. and, and you're fine, and you're never diagnosed and so with cancer. It's, it's not the radiation that is uh, killing these germs. The radiation is stimulating the immune system, and the immune system then, which is very broad spectrum, that is, the immune system will go after anything that it perceives as a threat. And the other interesting point to know about this is that there is an actual black and white switch between the reaction of the body to low dose radiation and of high dose radiation. Different, uh, different genomes are, are uh, stimulated, different proteins are formed. There are two different processes, which is rather surprising, you know, but there, there are two different things that go on. And in the low dose radiation, you're, you're, putting, you're in, initiating the type of response that is essentially error free. Uh, and when you're, and, and it's, it's a healing response. And if you get into the high dose radiation, then it's, it's, a, uh, it's a survival mechanism. Mm -hmm. It's a much less effective 
uh, protection, but it's, uh, you know, they could pour more heat on it and make that happen. And there's the reason that ordinary people can understand this and technical people have a problem with it is because you have to understand that scientists are not paid to solve problems. Scientists like lawyers and doctors are paid by the hour to work on problems.